This was the idyllic mountain village of Blatten in Switzerland just a few weeks ago. And this is how it looks today. After partial collapse of the Birchgletscher, an avalanche of ice, rock, earth and water thundered down into the valley, burying everything under 10 million tons of material. Even with all our technology, there is no stopping something like this. Fortunately, the residents and their livestock had already been evacuated a few weeks ago. How and why did this happen? Due to rising temperatures, the permanently frozen ground, or permafrost, has been thawing for decades. This permafrost had previously stabilized not just the glacier itself, but had also held together the rock underground like cement. This led to ever more material sliding down, increasing the load on the remaining glacier, or even impacting it with high kinetic energy. At some point, the friction could no longer hold the glacier in place, and the entire mass barreled down the mountain. The mixture of ice and soil disintegrates and becomes a viscous fluid, very much like lava, literally flowing downhill with speeds of 100 km per hour or more. Okay, let's address the obvious elephant in the room here. Is this related to climate change? Well, two things here. First, since the last ice age about 10,000 years ago, there have always been alternating periods of warming and cooling, and correspondingly receding or advancing glaciers. The last cooling period was the so-called Little Ice Age from roughly 1300 to 1800. And ever since then, temperatures have been rising and glaciers have been melting. So part of it is a natural phenomenon. However, the warming has drastically accelerated over the 20th century, and is still increasing now, driven by our escalating emission of greenhouse gases like CO2. Melting large masses of ice is exactly the kind of thing where plus one or plus two degrees of temperature, on average, over a long time, have a huge impact. This is not implicit or speculative, this is very direct. Subscribe for more.